Okay, so here I am at the back of the Lake Silverwood Dam. Um, this is federal property. Get a shot of that real quick here. Can't, I cannot enter that area. See here. Um, kind of interesting. I just saw a truck drive by. A white, looked like a um, Chevy Blazer older model, maybe a 90. Why it's in there, I don't know. That's not my point. I'm here to take some footage of this area. I know that up in those mountains and to the east is Big Bear. And that there have been dogman sightings here, uh, up there, excuse me, uh, mainly Bigfoot sightings though. So I talked to my contact in what I call Shangri-La, which is uh, Mr. Black. And I talked to him this morning, Sunday. He was telling me, you got to focus in on the shadows. And, uh, but when I get back home, I want to be able to study the footage and see, like I describe in my one chapter in my book, My Search for Dogman, I want to be able to see if I could see anything in the shadows. I know in my chapter on Google Maps that I describe how you can literally go online and see, you know, you know study areas where there have been known dog, dog man Bigfoot sightings and see uh, anomalies in the, in the footage or in your, in your pictures, in your imagery that's taken by Google or whoever. Um, it's real and I just talked to him this morning about it. he said he has a friend that does it. It's absolutely true He says his friend discovered about 50% of the time He will he will see things and I, I said to him a high chance that you will find something uh, When you do that when you go online Just search areas where there have been Bigfoot sightings study the the imagery that Google or whoever has taken of that area Google Earth is, is one where I describe in the book how um, I studied the area outside Taylorville, Illinois, and lo and behold, I did find I did find a uh, that's a off roader behind me, but I uh, I did find a and I know it. There's no proof of it. You just have to take me at my word. I late at night. I was, uh, it was early, it was January 2019, and I'm searching online at Taylorville, where this area off of Lincoln Highway, the old Lincoln Highway, where a man said he saw a dogman cross the road, and sure enough, I saw what appeared to be a dogman following a man on the road heading into town from east to west towards town. I did not take a screenshot like a dummy, and uh, but I knew, I knew at that point you could use the technology to see things, uh, to study the imagery. And in fact, I have studied throughout you know, various parts of the United States and I have seen imagery and, and most people ridicule me. But you know, I'm not saying if I see something that it's a dog man or a Bigfoot. You know, you make up your own, your own mind. If there is something hiding, who knows? You know, from where I'm standing, I see nothing. I see nothing. He did, Mr. Black did tell me, be careful. You know, he said where he lives, He's safe more or less because these creatures that's their home they 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 respect him and his family more or less but he says if you run across one that's rogue uh, which he sometimes does they, they they're passing through his property in Shangri-La and they don't have any qualms about being aggressive with you Another off-road vehicle.
again, he said just hit the shadows. It's beautiful here, but kind of creepy as well. Even though it's broad daylight. My gut is that there are probably some out here, at, you know, like at night in particular. Again, I honestly don't feel I'm going to see anything today, but who knows. Pick a spot where they might be. The Mojave River originates in those mountains over there, and that's why they—that's why that dam is here. But uh, around probably two miles to three miles in that direction, there there were two credible sightings of a Bigfoot in June of around 2000, 1998-2000. So my guess is they—they're up in the mountains here by Crestline, up in this direction, and um, Big uh, big Bear's a little bit further to the southwest. They come down, you know, looking for game. And these were credible sightings. I'll post the links in the, in the notes. You could read them yourself. I mean, and I literally, where I live off of the Mojave River, it's probably the sighting was maybe five miles from my house. I also want to make a note that I in no way consider myself an expert. Uh, there was a certain podcaster who ripped my book, and I know he didn't read it. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. He just skimmed it, and then he just shot it down because it, it's a threat to him for whatever reason. Uh, it's, it's pretty sad when you're in part of a, a research community and others have extreme jealousies of other people.